Insert the usual shilling like, comment, subscribe, rate, five stars, do whatever you want. I like Blood Angels. Blood Angels are my favorite legion, my favorite chapter out there. I just love them. And one of the most interesting things is their first chapter master. Well, first captain in the Horus Heresy, and first chapter master after, you know, the second founding, if you will. That is Raldoran. There is a model for this amazing unit. There's a little bit of a catch. You see, it's from Forge World, first of all, so it's made out of resin. And second of all, it's 67 euros. Which would make sense for a larger model, but for poor old Raldron, I'm just sorry, my boy. I just can't find a good enough excuse to keep my marriage and also have you. But never fear. If you are in the same position I am, there's always a solution. Because there always is a solution with this hobby, and that is making your own. Nobody can really stop you if you put all your bitsies together and just make a Raldron. It's free, it's cheap, technically. It's not really free or cheap. But let's begin. This is my Raldron. It's not the best looking unit, I have to say, but it works good enough for me. Important notes, I'm just gonna go through everything I've put on him. I used a Mark VI body, because that's what I had, though Raldron's Forge World unit seems to be wearing a Mark III unit. Didn't have any of those, so you know. I used what I can. His chest plate comes from a Cataphracty Terminator. I just took off the round thing and just modified the back of the Mark VI armor and the, the back of the chest plate. Finally, at some point, I managed to put them together and it worked pretty well. It worked pretty well and I like that. The next thing that I did was to find some hands for him, some proper hands. And because of that, I used one Mark VII hand and one Adeptus Custodes hand. You know, managed to imitate the pose that Raldron has on Forge World as best I can, and I think I tried to stick through to its spirit even if I didn't manage to do it properly. For example, he still has a huge sword that he's technically cleaning or holding in one of his hands, though my model looks more like he's ready to pounce on you. The sword was made by a combination of Cataphracti and Tartaros. I've just cut up the swords for those two Terminator units and glued them together, putting them... And I initially I wanted to have them end to end, but that didn't work, so I cut each... I made small cut incisions in each so that it can fit one on top of the other and create that long blade. Initially, the hand that's kind of holding the other the long sword, you know, it was supposed to be a cleaning hand because that's what Raldron has on his four drawer model. This one looks a little bit weird or finicky, I know, but what can you do? Of course, the studded shoulder pad comes from the Mark VI power armor that, you know, this whole kit came from. And it works, I like it, and I always like putting those on my units. The other shoulder, I I think it's supposed to be, again, from a Mark VII unit. I think it was something that came with the normal Tactical Marines box. Didn't really have a proper one for Blood Angels. Still had to look for some symbols here and there. I might have to add things later on. For his head, I, I observed that the Raldron model is very bulky. It has Mark III. Mine isn't that bulky, because I don't really have access to Mark III bits, and every local store around me said that they're not really sure they can get Mark III anymore, so... Screw me, right? Anyway, because of that, I've decided to go rampaging through my bits box and found some nice Death Guard heads. Yes, that is the head from a Death Guard Plague Marine. 
all I had to do was make sure the pus and bile and saliva from the lower part was cleaned up a little with a hobby knife and then just stick him in there and you can't even see it. I like how that looks. I like how it looks on him. The backpack is a Mark IV. <laughs> Though I think a Mark VI would have worked since they seem bulkier than the Mark IV. But I guess it gives him a different look and feel when it's a Mark IV. Overall, you could as well say that this poor dude is wearing Mark V heresy armor. <laughs> which technically would be true, but he has way more Mark VI parts on him. Oh, a very important thing. I wanted to give him studs on one of his legs. But I found out I don't really have the materials required to put studs in. So I went to the next best option. I took one of those things that Adeptus Custodes kind of get on their hips and and put it on his right foot I guess yeah kind of works like that I had to put the whole uh, custody symbol upside down a little mostly because it didn't really want to fit properly with the spike going in the foot but it had no problem with the spike going up like some short sort I guess of knee guard and still think it ended up pretty okay my biggest complaint about this is the lack of blood angel symbols unfortunately i didn't have any of those left anymore i, I made a lot of blood angels in my life still i didn't have any left i was thinking about changing his helmet with a death mask but i went against the idea for a moment just to help to give him some more bulkiness at least grab a little of that Raldron spirit overall in my opinion this is one of my better kid bashes conversions the best thing i ever put to the knife and the clippers in my opinion it really works well it can be used as also a legion champion or something else in your squads in your army and I kind of like it. It makes so much sense. It looks cool in my opinion. It just lacks the Blood Angels details, but those can be added later on. I can find something from maybe a Sanguinary Guard box or something like that. Overall, I think I like it and the process is technically easy. This helmet, this model was first tried with a Mark VII helmet. And it also looked good with that, so I'm so that's good. A beaky helmet would also look pretty well on it. I have to say I tried it with the Mark VI special helmets, and they work pretty okay with that. It, it, it really works well, and the main base of this can be done with your Age of Darkness kit. You don't really have to put the Custodes arm or Custodes knee guard I did. It can be easily done with just the Mark VI body, the torso of the Cataphracty armor and then something to hold a big giant sword. The sword is the harder part to make because I had to combine two swords but there is probably a solution for that using plastic card or wire. I didn't have that <laughs> and I made this. And I kind of like it. We have the Raldoran at home. Looks better than the Exodus at home we have. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one.